Hey guys, so um, welcome to our team call. Um, it is August 7th, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the leadership ladder and why it's so important to use, especially as a new coach or just a coach in general. And um, a lot of what I'm going to be talking about, I actually learned from Summit this past week and a half ago, or a week ago, I guess, um, on Monday. But I learned all these tips and I wanted to quickly come home and share all this information with all of my coaches. And so I decided to start out with how to use the leadership ladder because this is the guideline to our business and to our success as a coach. This is what we should be following every single day so that we can reach those milestones in our business to um, basically um, receive the kind of success that we each want. So I, um, I actually looked up the leadership ladder um, statistics, but um, kind of the talk from Summit that I'm gonna go off of or speech from Summit, um, is Developing Team Leaders by Alyssa Shoemaker and Jacqueline Stokes. So if you guys want to go back and listen to that recording later when they do release those record recordings, I highly recommend it. Um, so if you haven't done so, there's actually a video that describes uh, the leadership ladder and the role of it. So if you do have questions at the end of this video, feel free to refer back to those videos and you can just find those in the on your coach on online office under news and training under the leadership ladder tab to the on the left hand side. So um, one thing that they shared is um, that 70% of Americans are obese and they got to talking about why this is, and it's because they all come up with excuses or um, that's just how it is. They just accept life for how it is and they aren't willing to do anything better. So um, the one thing that they did say is you are the change and everything starts and ends with yourself. So I want you guys to remember this. Um, and you have to, something that Miguel Carrasco talked about, the very first uh, speech that I listened to was about how you need to have belief in yourself in order for um, for this this coaching opportunity to really take place and to really spark and grow. Is you have to first have belief in yourself. Um, so I get a question a lot when we when we get new coaches on our team and we, we are constantly getting new, new coaches on added to our team. But the number one question I ask is what do I do? Like where do I start and what are the steps I need to take to be successful? And for a long time, I'll be honest, I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint it and I couldn't figure out exactly what, what to share. And the reason being is because I honestly, my life has been so chaotic and so unorganized up until this point. And I've really tried to start organizing things and trying to rethink in my head on how I've gotten to where I am. Because I, I didn't have, I haven't had a very uh, helpful upline as a lot of our coaches know, but it's all a learning process for everyone. And so one of my goals for for my part of my leadership is I'm trying to come up with simpler systems for the coaches in our downline to make things easier on them so that they can see success quicker. And it makes it even better where Beachbody has now this leadership ladder that helps point you to those little milestones that are going to move your business forward. So I just wanted to share those with you guys. So on top of believing that you can do it, we all need vision and we all need a mission right um hopefully our vision and our mission is similar and that's helping change people's lives helping them see the good in themselves and helping them realize what they're missing and something to help give them to improve their their life 
and hopefully change that around so they they live a more happy, fulfilling life. So that is what I believe we do as coaches. We give people hope, we give them a solution, and we help support them to get to those goals. And the nice thing about the leadership ladder is that's what it does for us coaches. Is this like this is our our own milestone mark or benchmark. So um, the first point on the leadership ladder, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys this um, chart. Let me pull this up really quick. Um, hold on. One minute. Okay. So this is the one I wanted to show you guys. So where I told you guys to go, so if you go to your coach online office, you go to, um, you go to, where is that? Oh, news and training. Then if you click training, then it will have all these different tabs. And just so you guys know, each one of these tabs that you click on, it's going to give you different steps to achieve. So if you're an, if you're a brand new coach, you just got um, all of your coaching stuff in the mail, you're really excited to get going and you don't know where to start, make sure that you're getting started where it says getting started. And then as soon as you're comfortable with that, you're going to go to this coach tab and you're going to learn everything that you need to know in the coach tab. And then as you progress forward in this business, you're just going to keep on progressing downward. But where I want you guys to go is if you have questions about the leadership ladder, here's the leadership ladder um, tab that you can click on and it'll bring you to this screen. So what I wanted to show you guys is right here, it has the different milestones of each um, benchmark as a leader. So the first one is you're going to be a business starter. So this is for any coaches that just sign up and you're wondering where to start. So right across the board, it's going to have your initial commission goal that you should be setting for each, each month as a coach. So obviously as you rank advance and you start helping others succeed, with your business, you're also going to jump up in this ladder, so to speak. So the first milestone to hit as a leader is a business starter. So what the business starter does is the business starter's goal, the first milestone marker is to make $100 in the first month. So um, if just in case you guys don't know, as a new coach or as a coach in general, you make 25% commission off of anything that you sell, and that goes with challenge packs. But the cool thing about it is when you do sell a challenge pack and um, you do um, keep these members on Shakeology Home Direct, that is a 25% on Shakeology every single month. But I... I am a cheap person, and when I started as a coach, I it was nice to have that 25% discount even if it was on Shakeology. So if I do have that customer that is planning on continuing on the Shakeology, then I initially will offer up the 25% discount because I wouldn't want somebody to not tell me about the discount because I would definitely want a discount if I was going to stay on the Shakeology. Um, the next milestone is it has a success club benchmark for all, all leaders across. So if you guys can see, um, it starts every, even the first month as a coach, it's success club five, all the way across the board, no matter what rank it is, it's hitting success club. And the reason why is, is if you're not hitting success club, it's not, you aren't being consistent with your business. And that's the important thing about this is about being in this business is being consistent with where you're headed. And that includes helping people every single month. So you want to be consistent with helping um, three to five people every month um, get started with a challenge pack. And for those new coaches, a challenge pack is a bag of Shakeology and a program of their choice. So if you're helping three to five of those people every single month, you're going to hit success club, especially as a new coach, the first, um, if you've started towards the end of the month, the nice thing is, is they won't count it until the beginning of the next month is your first month. So if you hit success club, your first three months in the business, then you become what they call a success starter. And what that means is, um, 
not only are you helping those three to five people every single month for the first three months, not only are you growing your business, but you also get to be on a call with Carl Deichler, who's the CEO of the company, and you also get a free $250 ticket to Summit, which this next year, it's actually going to be in New Orleans. The past two years, it's been in Nashville. And like I said, I just got back from Nashville just this last week. And it is very, very crucial and beneficial, especially if you plan on growing your business or even if you just want to be surrounded by other coaches who have the same goals. It is really something else to be around coaches that are like-minded and have some similar goals that you do. And just knowing that you're not alone and seeing all these different people that are in different parts of life. They are different people in general. They have different goals. Some people have families. Some people are moms. Some people are dads. Some people are single. Some people are fresh out of high school. It, it's so awesome to see the different variety of people that we help as a company. So that is really cool to see. And not only that, you also can work out live with the trainers. Um, I got the opportunity to work out live with the celebrity trainers. So Shanti, Shaleen, Autumn, um, Joel and Jericho, Tony Horton, trying to think, oh, Sagi, Kalev. So all of those guys were there. We got to work out live with them. It's really fun and it definitely gets your heart pumped. It gets you motivated and it really helps you dig deep to find what those goals are and how you're going to get to those goals. So that is really important as a new coach is that you're setting that bar high, not only for yourself, but for your future team. I know that I was bummed because I missed being a success starter by one point my third month as a coach. I was able to get on and have a, uh, I was able to get on the call with Carl and he's super motivational. And when you guys hear him speak, he definitely has a way with words and he is a powerful, powerful speaker and he's so inspirational and he's definitely a great guy and a great inspiration and example for this company. So, um, that is what your goal is as a business starter. Okay. So the next thing that we want to focus on as a coach is our for our next goal they should i feel like they should have this in the business starter but it is um working on your own transformation so as a new coach it is really scary but at the same time we all became a coach for a reason and my reason was i wanted to lose 70 pounds and initially that's what i worked on for probably the first almost year i would definitely share as i went and I did end up helping people along the way, but, but oddly enough, I was really working on myself. And that's the nice thing about this business is we were initially in it for ourselves. And then as soon as we start seeing those products and the Shakeology and the programs change our, our lives from the inside out, it's truly inspirational and you can't help but want to share it with other people. And you guys are going to come to know what I'm talking about um, if you don't already. So the next, the next um, business or milestone mark is team builder. So what a team builder is, is basically you're an Emerald coach. So what I loved about um, learning about being a team builder is basically a team builder is an Emerald coach. So you have one coach on each leg and basically I have heard that emerald and diamond are a mindset. And I heard that a ton over this past week in Nashville is both of those ranks are a mindset. And I was talking to this girl on the airplane actually, um, and we were talking and kind of brainstorming and she was talking about how she was able to hit emerald in less than 24 hours. And I was like, whoa, 24 hours? Like, what did you do? So she said that she found one friend and she said that a lot of her coaches, they'll find a family member and then they'll sign up their spouse. And a, a lot of people, depending on if you can financially afford it or not, but a lot of people will, especially on her team, she did this. When she signed up her husband, 
when um, she got the challenge pack, she got a challenge pack with hers, but the Shakeology samples that she had, she got the little packets, and what she did is she did a five-day um, free Shakeology challenge, and she sold each of the samples for $5 a piece. And she ran this free group, and not only was she getting testimonials to share with other people, but she was also making back the money that she had spent on the Shakeology sample packets, which I thought was really cool. And that is something that I am going to work on with our coaches as well. So if you do want in on that, then let me know. Um, so anyways, a team builder is Emerald. So you have a coach on each side. And I know that we have quite a variety of different coaches right now. We have some fresh new business starters and we also have some team builders. So um, what this means is for commissions, you should be having 250 BP. So BP means bonus points. And if you guys don't know what this is, it actually has a key right here. In case you're wondering, it has a key right here of what this all means. And it just breaks it down. So as an Emerald coach, you should be also hitting success club five every month. So helping three to five people every month. Um, it's Emerald rank and higher. And your goal is to have um, two success club points with two different personally sponsored coaches. So basically you're going to need to explain to your team of why it's important to hit success club. So one thing I didn't touch on is this last March, me and my, my husband and I, we were able to attend a cruise with Beachbody and we were able to earn that through hitting success club and by helping three to five people every single month. So the cool thing about it is when we help other people, it's, crazy but we get rewarded for helping other people as well so I really like that aspect about the company is they're always willing to give as long as us coaches are willing to give of ourselves and our time so just remember that so the the next um, milestone which is added so these two things were added on but the next benchmark for each of us is to have a week leg volume of um, 200 team volume okay so what this means is if you guys have questions you can always click on here like I said but it means your accumulative um, points so when you order Shakeology every single month that's 90 points so when your team accumulates 200 points then that is when you're gonna mark this off of your um, your milestone or your benchmarks every month. So you want to make sure that you're paying attention to that. So the next milestone is to become a team leader, which is a diamond rank or above. Okay. And the goal is to have 1000, um, bonus points every single month. And you're also going to want to hit success club five. And obviously you're going to want to be diamond. So diamond is one emerald on each side and four coaches total on each leg. So four coaches total and one of the four on, or two of the four need to be emerald rank to be a diamond coach. Um, so in this benchmark, you need to have four personally sponsored coaches that are hitting success club monthly. So, um, and then 5,000 team volume points is the goal for that. And it just keeps going up from there. And if you guys have questions about any of this, here is a video on how the leadership ladder works more in depth. And here is um, how Melanie, Melanie Mitro, she's been the top coach that has two years in a row. And this is how she uses the leadership ladder for her business. So if you haven't watched any of those, you want to make sure that you watch those as well. Um, so that is the leadership ladder. I wanted to show you guys though where you can check as a new coach where these benchmarks are for yourself. So you're going to click this home button and it's going to bring you back to your, whoops, maybe not. It's going to bring you back to your main coach online office. And one thing that I wanted everybody to realize is that, um, this, this business is full of ups and downs. I have bounced 
anywhere from coach to emerald, back to coach, back to emerald, to diamond, back to ruby, up to diamond, back to emerald. It's all a part of the journey. And I want you guys just to realize that there is going to be ups and downs with this business and it's okay. Just learn from why you maybe bump down and maybe learn how maybe next time that's not going to happen because you're going to have more coaches in place or you're going to be a better leader and you're going to help motivate and inspire your team better. So just make sure that you're always learning from your mistakes. And I know that I am constantly learning from my mistakes and I feel like it's really important that we are learning and growing together. So um, what I wanted to bring you to is when you come up to this main screen, when you log into your coach on an office, if you notice up here, it has a personal volume tab. Um, it has a team volume tab right here. Then it has your success club qualifications. And this is a brand new month. And so, no, I don't have any points yet. But it's also going to bring you to this leadership ladder. So if you look here, it has basically the same chart that we had um, before that we were just looking at. So the goal is always set right here, okay? So this is where the goal is. So my goal is to hit 250 in commissions. I need to be at SC5. Um, my goal is Emerald. Uh, personally, I need to have two personally sponsored with success club points and a week leg, a volume of 200. Okay. So those are my goals. It will have your last months. It'll have this month's and then your benchmark goals. So that I think is really cool to have as a new coach. Um, so just make sure that you, you aren't getting discouraged because this business is literally full of ups and downs. And you just have to be willing to be patient and be consistent with what you're doing. That's one of the things that they talked about is being consistent with everything. Um, being consistent with your posting, being consistent with your sharing, be consistent with your team calls, be consistent with how you approach people. Just always being consistent so that people can learn that they can count on you because a lot of people are watching to make sure that you are being consistent because believe it or not, there's a lot of people that will join and then they'll stop. And so it's our job as coaches to be consistent and show them that we're going to be here for the long run. So um, one thing that Alyssa and Jacqueline talked about is if you treat your business like a business, you'll get paid like a business. So. One thing that they talk about is establishing business hours. So they talk about making a plan of when you are going to implement, when you're going to work your power hour. And for those of you guys who don't know, when you work your power hour, um, your I personally just go off my business activity tracker, and that's what I work on for that power hour that I'm working. Okay, so I have those. I actually have a daily schedule that I made when I got home and I'll just show it to you real quick. So I have a schedule for myself right here. I printed it off. I made it all pretty so I can follow it. And this is how mine goes because I want you guys to think about this for a second. I don't know how many of you guys have done a day job or worked some time in your life and you all get work schedules, right? You know when you're supposed to clock in, when you're supposed to clock out. And if you don't work those hours, you don't get paid, right? Same thing with your business. If you aren't willing to clock in certain times and clock out, then you aren't going to get paid. But the only difference is, is it's more easy, I feel like, to do those nine to five jobs because you literally drive to the place where you're going. You have this structured schedule on things that you need to do. You can clock out and then you're done. And with our business, it is our job to be consistent and it is our job to stay consistent and to be on time, be prompt and come up with our own schedules. And that for me has been the hardest thing to grasp and to, um, to grasp as a new coach. So, um, my schedule goes at 5.30, I wake up, I get dressed, I mix my Energize. Then at 5.45, I read a chapter in, in the scriptures and I write in my gratitude, my five-minute gratitude journal that I got at Summit. At 5.55, I put my workout DVD in 
and I mute it and then I sit in front of my vision board which is right here next to me and I sit in front of it until six o'clock when I read personal development and drink my Energize until it kicks in. Then once my Energize kicks in, I do my workout and then at seven, I start my power hour and then at eight o'clock, I shower. I um, usually by then, by the time I'm done showering, my girls have woken up so I eat my breakfast, I make my girls breakfast, we get dressed and then from 10 o'clock until nap time, I clean the house and I do my motherly chores. And then during nap time, I'll create visuals. I'll create recognition posts for our, um, for our challenge groups, for our team. And then when Lakin wakes up, then we will have lunch. And then I do something with my girls. And then at 5.30, I start to make dinner. 6 o'clock, between 6 and 6.30, we eat dinner and clean it up. And then at seven to eight, um, it's family time. And then eight thirty, we put the girls to bed. And then it's Jordan and I time until about ten o'clock when we when we go to bed each night. So that's something that I made because I felt like my life was so chaotic and out of control, and I felt like I couldn't I couldn't breathe <laughs> because it was just overwhelming me and consuming me. I knew I had all this stuff that I need to get done, but I just felt like I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. So I made a schedule and I encourage each of you guys to, when we get off this call, I want you guys to create a schedule that works for you. We all have different priorities and I want you just to make sure that when you do this schedule that you are aligning in with your key priorities. Um, okay, so as a coach, as a brand new coach, um, something I want each of you guys to remember is when you start out as a coach, you're really scared, you're really nervous, you wanna succeed, but you don't know where to start. So I told you guys that I was gonna do some steps for newer coaches to help get started off right. So what I want you guys to do is as a new coach, or if you've been a coach for a while and you haven't done this exercise, I want you to do this as well. I want you to make a list of 100 people and don't limit or don't think to yourself, I can't invite these people because of X, Y, Z. I just want you to write a list of 100 people and later you can go through and weed out people, but I just want you to make a list of these 100 people. So what you're going to do is you're going to make a list of 100 people to invite to a challenge group, okay? Um, when you're posting, keep in mind that you're doing one to two challenge group open posts a, a month. So I know I personally don't like to do those anymore. When I was a new coach, I do them more often than not because I was scared to send out those personal invites. And I felt like the open invite was way easier. But what we, what I have noticed is um, as a new coach, if you do event pages, this works a lot more effectively almost than doing those open invites on your personal page. So what you do is you just create a simple, um, just create a simple um, invite to those things by creating an event and you post what your, what your challenge group is gonna be about when it starts, maybe post some success stories in there to get people interested and engaged and you just, you just do just that. You just invite people, and then if people say that they're interested, then go through and private message those people and invite them to your challenge group. I know it's really scary, but the more that you guys put yourself out there, the more you send out those invites, the more comfortable you're gonna become at doing that. So the next thing you wanna do is, as a new coach, you wanna make sure that you get plugged in to Coach Basics. So I'm going to be starting another Coach Basic group tomorrow morning, and it's just going to be in our Facebook page. I'm probably just going to run it in our team page so that I don't have to add anybody, and anybody can participate that's in there. They don't have to feel obligated, but I do want everybody who does want to move their business forward to get started and plug into that Coach Basics, okay? So make sure that not only you're enrolled, but that you're engaged in these groups. I know it can be hard, especially when nobody's posting in those groups, 
to feel like you're the only one that's participating. And you know what? That just may be the case. But if you have goals and you have vision of where you want to get headed, these Coach Basics groups are going to teach you everything that you need as a new coach to help you succeed in this business and to really move it forward. So you want to make sure that you're engaging, even if nobody else is commenting or liking or participating. Just you do you and don't worry about anyone else. Okay. So the next thing that you want to get plugged into is events. So Beachbody has lots of events. I just talked about Summit. That happens once a year, and it's, it is seriously life-changing, guys. If you have not gotten a ticket, make sure that you grab yours. I am going to be there next year, like I said, and I would love to have all of my coaches there as well and to have a whole bunch of us from, from our team there to support us. Um, so the next thing that you want to make sure that you plug into as a new coach is our team calls. Our team calls are every Sunday night to 8.30 p.m. And I do try to record these for us busy busy um, moms and parents. And for those that are have different priorities, I do record those just for those people. And some of, some of us are even working and you aren't able to hop on. So the next event that you need to make sure you're plugged into is the national wake-up calls. Those national wake-up calls are every Monday morning at 9 o'clock a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So you want to just make sure that you're plugging into those every single um, every single Monday and make sure you're taking notes. Um, I don't know who it was that told me as a new coach, but it's one thing to listen, but it's one thing to, to take notes, but then another thing to take notes and apply what you've learned. So that's something that I've been trying to work on as well, is trying to apply what I learn as well as take notes. So the last one is Super Saturday. So we just had our Super Saturday um, yesterday. And um, let me tell you guys, it is something else to be able to go to a Super Saturday event and see and be surrounded by other people just in our area of that have the same goals that are from just where you live. So just from Idaho Falls, there was four of us that had lost, or five of us that had lost over 70 pounds. And that is just in the Idaho Falls area. And I know that when we were at Summit, there was a lady that had lost over 250 pounds. So it's crazy to think, but it's also exciting and fun. So the next event that you wanna make sure that you're plugging into the next Super Saturday event is October 29th. And we want to make sure that everyone is there. Um, why, why be there? Because they normally always give not only recognition, but they also do special, special product release announcements. They also talk about upcoming events. Um, they talk about, they usually always give um, business tips towards the end, but you also get to hear success stories of people from the area as well. Um, so that, the only other trainings that I want to point out is there's always additional trainings that you can find everywhere. So as soon as um, those summit recordings pop up, then I'll probably be starting to post one of those per day so that you guys can use those as personal development so that you guys can start using those to help move your business forward. So the leadership ladder is definitely a tool that you can use to move your business forward as a new coach or as me being a coach for two years now. And Realizing that there is those certain milestones that those coaches that are successful that are on the top 10 They 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 are using the leadership ladder and they are using that and they are making their business move forward. So um, That is kind of what I had for you guys this week. Um, next week. We will have our team call again um, at 8 30 and I hope to see everyone on there. I wanted to um, thank all of you guys in specific for trusting me and I I know that this business is where I'm at and I hope you guys feel the same way about coaching but um 
if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, if you're watching this recording later, then make sure to comment below so I can answer any questions that you might have. Um, I am excited to talk with you guys and I'm, I'm so excited to help you guys um, hit those goals, whether they be fitness related or business related. I am extra excited to help everyone in this group. And I hope that if you do have questions, you'll reach out to me. And I guess I will just talk to everybody in Coach Basics tomorrow. So thanks for hopping on. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.